Howdy there! What's going on today? We are back in Farm Sim 22. Um, finally got the fifth wheel installed in the truck. Really did not want to put a fifth wheel in it. It was just a really clean bed. But I'm like, well, we got our straps that you know are in there, so might as well just go ahead and put a fifth wheel. Still got our uh, other uh, a drop hitch here. Um, so we got that everything, so I'll be able to pull my uh, my you know uh, fifth wheel trailer with it. But here's the thing. Um, the Ford, I've got to put a Ford in the garage and stuff, so we're going to head over to the shop. Got to put a Ford over in the garage. And also, uh, a lot of y'all uh, posting in the comments on what truck I should get and stuff. One of them uh, uh, that kind of stood out, um, we had a couple of seven, uh, seven, uh, threes and everything. But I think uh, a lot of people said like 5th gen, uh, maybe like a 5th gen dually or something like that. But unfortunately, we only got like 17 grand. Um, because we did get our thousand for you know hauling the uh, can ams, but <laughs> we only got like fifteen grand or I mean you know seventeen grand. That's an eighty thousand dollar truck, so we might be looking for something a little bit cheaper for now. I would like to get me a fifteen dually. I just think that'd be good, something new, reliable, and everything like that. Not saying air 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 Ford wasn't reliable, but we did put it in a pond, so I think that you know and six O's are they don't have the best reputation and. You know, we kind of put it in a pond, so we kind of probably shortened its life. But we're going to put the truck in the garage, get wrapped to overlook it and everything. But today, I've got to get the semi truck um, out and everything, and we got to get it running. And I got to go pick up a trailer because tomorrow I've got to go pick up. Dun, 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 hang on, pull this over here. Well, actually, you know what? Let me actually back this over here. Now, we're not going to have the hood or anything on it because I don't have none of the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, parts that I need to bolt it on. Now, I think this does have the, yeah, it has like the hinges and stuff, but I, I don't have none of the other, um, the, uh, other, uh, accessories or equipment or pieces that I need for it. Definitely got to get this truck in the garage. We finally got the parts for it, but, oh, crap. Um, hey, Ralph, I want to move your truck real fast because I need to pull the Ford in here. This thing's loud, so... Alright, sorry about that. That thing is just so loud. Alright, so I've got to put a Ford in everything and let him start working on it. We got the, 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 the six door in here. He's going over it from where I uh, turn it over in the mud. So once that gets going pretty good, hopefully we can sell that truck. Then if we sell this one, we should be able to buy a 50 no problem. I've still got the bus, but we've got to get this semi truck going because I've got to go pick up a trailer because I asked my buddy if I could borrow his truck or trailer because the hall was real big. And he's like, I gotta use the truck. And I was like, that's completely fine. And so we're gonna try to get this going. I'm not gonna put a hood or anything on it. So we're gonna have to like sneak over there. Hopefully the cops don't get us. And hopefully the truck don't break down. Get the trailer, bring it back. Cause tomorrow we actually, we have to go to town, but we actually have to go to the uh, the uh, uh, depot to pick up a the El Toro monster truck. And I gotta go to a baseball field and pick up a uh, grave digger. They just got back. Grave Digger's actually on display at the baseball field. They had like a little car show and everything. Um, I didn't know about it or we would have went. We would have brought something. Something. And uh, we, uh, but we're going uh, we're going to pick up the Grave Digger and everything. But they just got back from overseas. So their their names are changed. It's not doesn't say grave digger i mean i think it's in like a different language but anyways we got el toro grave digger we're gonna bring them back here and leave them on a trailer because they uh when they got back they were shipped because it was overseas and they dropped them off here so we're gonna watch it for them uh, we're getting paid like a grand each just to basically bring it here and you know just leave it uh, i think they're gonna be coming and pick it up in a couple days so all right come on baby come on once we get this thing started, I'm not turning it off. Okay. She seems to be running. All right. I mean, it's, it's a decent truck. We put a new motor and everything in it. 
because when we bought it, it didn't have the motor or anything. So we definitely, you know, we just gotta baby it. All right, I'm gonna let that thing just sit there and chug a little bit. I, I love how it sounds. Oh yeah. All right, let's try to get this on Ford in the garage. Oh goodness, come on. And also, we will be doing some bigger builds and stuff later. Um, right now, we're just trying to just uh, uh, make some money and everything. But of course, you know, every 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 dollar helps. All right. Come on, baby. Well, see, it, 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 it starts right up, though. Well, I mean, kind of. All right, let's pour this thing in the shop. Maybe it fixes itself. Nope, never mind. That starter's going to be hating me. We'll probably have to put a new starter on it, too. All right, let's pull it in here. He's going to take a look at it. Hopefully, it's nothing, nothing you know, uh, serious or anything with the truck. Because, I mean, I do like the truck. It, it, it sounds wonderful. It's done its job. We definitely need a wash and everything, so we'll get a wash shop. But we're going to head over and try not to get pulled over. This is our first maiden voyage in our, uh, our new, well, our, our semi-truck. So, please don't break it down. <laughs> All right, let's go. And... I mean, I've, it's it's got insurance and everything on it, but it's just we don't got a hood, and I feel like they say anything, it's going to be because we don't have a hood or anything. It's running pretty good. There we go. Come on. It's running, it's, it's going, I mean, we're doing 70, but we ain't got a load or anything on. I think we might actually put some, like, big old stacks on this thing or something. I, I have in, in mind what I wanted to do with it, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, because we are using it as a work truck, you know. I love the Jake break. All right, let's go ahead. We know we gotta move this truck, which I'll probably have to get the keys. And plus, we gotta let him know we're here. <laughs> I about I about turned it off. We don't want to turn this thing off right now. Do not want to do that. <sighs> let's see. I'm gonna check here. Okay, is that the other one? All right, thank you. All right, so we gotta get the keys and be good. All right, so I got the keys. He said just leave them in there. Just pull over to that front door right there. Start this bad boy up. Now, I really like this truck. I mean, like I, I like air truck too. I like air truck better. But you know, this one is like complete. But it was my fault because again, you know, I, I should have got my button gear. Like I said, the only time I uh, ever work on any of their vehicles is when we need them. Oh yeah. I like this because it does have the open back window. Well, you really can't see it much in it. There we go. Perfect. All right, there it is. This is the first tour that we've hooked to it. Everything. I think it kind of looks pretty cool without the hood, though. You got to admit. It's like here. It's like it feels like it's uh, like a cab over because you can't see anything. All right, let's just not get pulled over. That's the main goal, and for it not to break down. It's doing pretty good. I can't believe it actually is driving this pretty, you know, this good. And it's like flying too, holy crap. Oh yeah.
Those things will have no problem. This thing's a powerhouse. Like I said, got the new engine in it and stuff. I'll drive this sucker until I get pulled over. Oh my gosh, where are we going to park this at? Um, I think we need to move our ramp truck. I need to bring some of this to my house or something. Well, actually, I'm parking around back. It's like we got all this stuff. I haven't got to touch the dump truck yet, so we only really got reverse in it. We ain't got a uh, um, drive. I don't know why I backed all the way in front of that, but. And definitely need to work on that. A lot of y'all been asking about the Bronco or not the Suburban. All right, so that's good. Um, this stupid school bus, like I need to park it behind there too. Um, uh, you know what? I think we might. Now we did do some damage to it, but like I just started ratchet strapping stuff together, so I think we're okay. She makes a popping noise every every now and then. Oh, and yeah, I forgot it has a wobbly Wonka camera. Luckily, this thing has a seat that I cannot look out of. So I guess we're going to have to just wing it like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, the camera is not the best on this thing, so I don't know what the deal is with that. There we go. Okay, yeah, I know I just need to go straight back, so. Alright, so we should be good right there. Let me make sure I didn't, like, hit nothing. No, we didn't. We got close. We didn't. Alright, so <laughs> we got our school bus back there. I need to get rid of this tree right here. Because then I can kind of, you know what? We are, can I get rid of this tree? Look at I carry a chainsaw on hand. All right, probably need to cut something like figures. Tell me that ain't the chainsaw. The chainsaw is like disappeared. All right, so basically now we can come around. We gotta watch this stunt. Probably catch some trailer tire. Come around and everything. We need to actually, you know what? We could probably put some gravel here and everything. Uh, like trying to level this up right here, make it out because this is a big parking area right here. I, like I'm, I'm wanting to be able to get like another shop or something to have for storage. We're just another bay, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's grab this truck and turn it around. We should be able to. That's the whole thing. I want to be able to uh, pull a semi in and then, you know, basically just make a turn with it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. And I don't want to take my big tree down. Well, I'm in the trees. be all right if we don't yeah we're good oh yeah perfect yeah, I think we're actually back at straight up over here I was gonna park it beside the road but I feel like this be better it's like we're playing musical chairs all right now let's see I'm hoping we the this this truck is almost done hey Ralph is this truck almost done all right so he said it should be good we should be able to fire it up oh yeah this thing is just such a monster holy crap it's like coming out of here is crazy there we go actually you know what we need to put this truck on display so we'll put it I need to fix a display area, which I'm thinking over here would probably be the best. Let me move it. Like, we're playing musical chairs. We're at the shop and playing musical trucks. There we go, chairs. Alright, let me know how we should set the shop up. Should we... Like, I really like the trees and everything. I think it looks good. 
Um, so should we make that parking lot over there a like a like a, 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 a basically I mean a grass a parking lot? That way we can uh, store our trucks. Maybe make a mound or something we can pull up on or get some ramps. I think uh, like ramps to put the uh, cars on for sale would be pretty good because I don't think people know this is actually you know, we actually sell vehicles and we definitely got to find some just stockies to sell and everything. Like I'm, I'm trying to talk to the bank into basically like you know letting us become a actual dealer, so we can buy you know new stock and everything and like have pulled up here and everything. I think that would be really good, so we can sell new stuff and then the stuff we work on. Because where we are a certified garage, we can actually put you know lifts and everything on new trucks and then something like that too. So we can, because actually uh, local here there's a garage that the uh, dealership takes their trucks to and gets uh lifts actually the one that actually put the lift on mine does it i'm like okay well maybe we do that for hamster wheels so we're in that might be in the works hopefully and we'll be able to sell new stuff all right let's park this like right here like for sale sign on it and i think i might actually park Trailblazer over here. I we seriously gotta get like a, a muffler or something. I can't even get by here. See, this is my problem. We have way too much crap. Not enough parking. Oops, there we go. Air parking lot is just not uh, set up correctly. Of course, I did it. So I do. <laughs> All right. Let's pull this over here. I don't sell this thing. I, I'm, I'm really wanting to put it on slicks. Alright, so that's for sale. Don't know what the crap we were doing with that. I kind of ruined it. This guy needs to, like, either, like, give me the money or sell it. Or, I mean, or, you know, get the lift or just at least come and get it. It's like, man, it's like these people be making all this, like, they'll be like, oh, I ain't got the money to buy a lift yet. But it's like, how do you have the money to leave it here? I'm going to start charging uh, storage fees. All right, so all these vehicles for sale. Yes, the Dodge is for sale. I think it will be, we'll just uh, sell it at the uh, lot here. I, I like it, but it's just, it's, I don't know. If we don't sell it, we'll put tractor tires or something on it. We'll do something crazy with it. All right, so this one's for sale too. So we got three vehicles for sale. Hopefully that big one sells. All right, um, I'm going to check on Ralph and see about this. All right, so guess what? Um, literally, a customer just left, stopped, looked at this truck, and they were like, hey, I absolutely love it. I need it. And I'm like, hey, mint condition didn't say about, you know, the, the wreck or anything. Um, which, I mean, we really didn't mess it up that much. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll tell them about it. But anyways, we were talking talking and stuff and they said they can they would do 175 on this truck i know a lot of y'all gonna be like that's way too much but literally the truck price is outrageous nowadays people be getting like you know 30k for a rusted crap box you know so why can't i get 175 for a really nice humongous truck so we're actually probably gonna be selling this for 175 i think that's the most money we've made everything so if we can sell these other two we'd be good but 175 would definitely get us like the gravel that we need for the over over in there and everything. But we're not selling it right now. Um, they're supposed to come back in the next couple of days and everything because they got to get uh, the money and everything. So this thing has a sale that's pending on it. It's great. Great for the shop and everything. That means we'll be able to take that money. Because what we did was always, you know, selling, you know, we'd sell something, buy another truck, and we'd spend all our money on that truck and then sell it. So, right now we're getting ahead, so we sell that for 175 pick another truck for us to build and everything, and um, probably not as big as that one. I really want one, like, fast or something, like a fast mud truck, if you, if you know what I'm talking about, like the smaller tires and everything. But, uh, you know, sell that, buy another one, if we can sell another one for around 100 grand or something. You know, even sixty, seventy thousand will be really good. And then, you know, plus fixing up the shop, making a parking lot here. And if we can get that dealership uh, license and everything, we'll be good to go. All right. So Ralph said, um, just, just basically, I don't know. He he says he's not really finding anything wrong with it. But he's going to have to. He's going to check all the injectors and everything. Maybe one's clogged, or 
you know not run to its full potential and that's maybe what's causing it or something like that we are going to put a new starter on it because i know that we've been like starting the crap out of it and if we do sell this truck over there i might end up going to go get me a fifth gen or something and then i might just keep this for backup because i really do like this truck but you know we have to have a vehicle to run and everything but i want to go ahead and grab the old ford which i absolutely love um and we're going to head to the house Thing sounds so good. Let's see, can I get around this trailer? No, I can't. See, this is. I guess that was my bad for parking it there. Again, I have to play like seesaw. I'm not the best trailer backer upper, but let me tell you, like at least we did get it. Though. All right, we open it. As I run over a ramp, nobody's seen that. Nobody's seen that. That's what I love about this truck. Just the interior is so clean on it. Just cruising. Got the trailer back there. Mirrors work really good. Absolutely love that. But I don't know. I don't want to like drive the crap out of it. To be honest, I would love to find. I got a you know the the second gen like you know murder second gen like fifteen hundred horsepower or whatever. But I like to find me just a nice uh, second gen to be a daily or something. And I wouldn't mind like doing a pull truck with a second gen instead of uh, a fifth gen. I like the older models and everything. But we also need to have vehicles that's flashy so people want to like you know, buy stuff from us. Alright, uh, I'm going to park this right here. Alright, did I leave my light? I think I left my lights on. There we go. All right, well, I think I want to go down here, chill by the pond. This is, like, my favorite, like, um, what, what would you call, um, yeah, hum, uh, uh, like, zen garden, but, like, a redneck zen garden with rocks that you could rock crawl on. Go here, hum, then pop the top on a cold bud light. Woo! <laughs> Mark, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Make sure you hit that like button, always helps out the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. Remember, keep the wheel rolling. Daggone it. Okay, go give me something to drink up here.